This is a bonus video to show you how photos are made to be black and white and how you can make yours have a striking effect on the viewer. It's not just adding black and white layer and removing all the colors. Let's see how it works. The first thing I'll do is go to the channels with the shortcuts Control and 1, Control and 2, or Control and 3 and find the channel that contains the most information about the model's freckles. In this case, it's the green channel. I'll select the green channel with Control A and Control C and make a new blank layer and paste it with Control V. I'll then increase the contrast in the image with curves and for this I'll darken the middle. This is before and after. This is to be able to hide some of the background that was too visible. When I'm ready, I'll click OK. Then I'll use one of the luminosity masks I have so far and select it to make a mask on the adjustment layer. Set it to multiply. That way I'll dim some of the lights that I think are too strong. I want to limit the effects only to the top of the face and I have already used one mask and can't add a second one because layers can't hold more than one. When I'm happy with what I see, I'll put this layer in a group and we'll put a black mask on that group. With a white brush, I'll pick out only those places where I want the effect to be applied. Some of our touches will be lower than 100% opacity. When I'm ready, I'll merge it with the layer below. I'll select one of the luminosity masks one more time and I'll invert the selections because I've selected light ones. Reverting this selection, I'll select the dark parts of the image. I'm going to add an adjustment layer of multiply, which will darken the image and make the light parts much clearer. Well, since the effect is too strong, I'll drop it in its percentage. In this case, it'll be 10%. Once I'm happy with what I have as a result, I'll merge it with the layer below. I'm going to create a new dodge and burn group, with the help of which I'll outline certain parts of the image and create additional depth. I'll start with the outer contours of the face and hair. I'll also pay attention to the light parts, working with a brush of 30% opacity and 2% flow. Additionally, I'll also create depth in the hair. Go through the light sections of the hair with a relatively hard brush. And add some more light to that part of the neck of the model. If I think the effect is too much in some places, I'll just delete some of the places where I want the effect to be less. I'll remove some of the places I added this effect to earlier. And we'll now use the dodge adjustment layer on this part of the model's eyes to further enhance the brightest parts so that I can create even more depth. I'll do the same thing with the ear. I'll add both light and darkness and increase the contrast a bit in the small areas, the microzones. The next thing I'll do is select the adjustment layer and we'll use an even smaller brush for brightening with opacity at 40% and flow at 20%. I'll make some irregular lines that simulate hair and thus I'll lighten or darken those parts where I want to add light and contrast. When I'm ready, I'll merge it with the layer below. The next thing I'll do is create a special adjustment layer which will help me see the invisible things in the photo. This layer is called Solar, and I'll add it to the actions in this tutorial 
so that you can use it to help see things that are not visible at a first glance. This can be used on many occasions. Now I'm going to use it to see what's happening in the dark parts of the image and if there are any flying hairs or edges I want to remove. When I see some, I just remove it with the healing brush. For this spot here, I'll also use Clone Stamp. For these places, I'll use the healing brush or the Clone Stamp to manually select the places from which I take and replace. A little more at the top of the picture. And when I'm ready, I turn off the solar layer. I'll compare it to the original to see what I've done so far and activate the black and white layer to see what I've created from this color image. When I'm ready, I'll save the photo. I hope you found it interesting, enjoyable, and learned something new. Go ahead and drop me a line, or let me know if I was helpful, what else I could contribute and share with you. See you soon, and keep photoshopping. Mm -hmm.